Mr. Oops. Yeah, here we go. Uh, other commissioners, I'm not going to limit it to Commissioner Kabula. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I just have a, just a couple of clarifications from my own mind. Um, Dr. Doris, when you run the projections through your uh, PowerSim system, is there ever a circumstance that you are absolutely up to date when they come out the other end? Um, could you, would you, would you like me to rephrase that? Please, if you could. Dr. Doris, in the world we live in, we have regulations changing and proposed regulations being introduced um, almost on a daily basis. I can't fathom that we could ever have a moment in time when you could plug something into a analytical machine that would come out the other end and be totally up to date with it when it was put on paper and the table in front of you. You're absolutely correct, Commissioner. And uh, I think we've embraced that fully in our analysis. Uh, we don't believe that a deterministic forecast at any point in time is, is going to be reflective of the future. And that's why we've sought uh, to introduce uncertainty through stochastic analysis. And that captures a broader range of outcomes that probabilistically envelopes uh, the future outcomes. So there's more weight given to events that are, or outcomes that are more likely, and much less probability weight given to events that are less likely in our analysis. But a future projection, Dr. Doris, is a projection given the information, the best information you have at the moment in time that you put it into the system. And, and so by nature, we will always have a slight lag of the knowledge we have at the moment. That's correct. Uh, and uh, all we can do is adhere to the standards of prudency in our decision analysis using all the available information a reasonable person could use at that point in time. And, and I think we've uh, realized that and uh, even realized uh, what's been recognized as best practices. Dr. Doris, thank you very much.